Tampa yesterday, President Biden talked about his plan to protect Social Security and Medicare. And he had some things to say about one Florida senator. Rick Scott, listen. I reminded them that Florida's own Rick Scott is the guy who ran the Senate campaign committee for Republicans last year, had a plan to sunset. Maybe he's changed his mind. Maybe he's seen the Lord. <laughs> wanted the sunset, meaning if you don't reauthorize it, it goes away. Sunset Social Security and Medicare every five years. Now, it's not likely to get voted out, but I'll tell you what, it's likely it got cut drastically if you had to do it every five years. Well, as luck would have it, Senator Scott is in town and with us this morning. Good morning. Good to see you, Senator. Good morning. I what? think he's lying, <laughs> confused, clueless. If you go look at my plan, you can go to rescueamerica.com. The only thing it says about Medicare and Medicaid, or Medicare and Social Security, is we need to preserve it. And Congress ought to tell you how they're going to do it because they're both going bankrupt. Well, let, let's be clear about, about what you said. In your, it was your 11-point plan, I think you released a year or so ago. And you were calling on all federal programs to be looked at and, and, and sunsetted and then reevaluated to see if they are if they should continue and social security and medicare are federal programs correct absolutely so what i said was what we need to do because if we want to preserve medicare and social security you can't keep wasting this money we have 31 half trillion dollars for the debt all right the interest expense right now is going to be about 20 percent of our entire federal budget all right but what i said is i want to preserve them i've been very clear now in contrast to biden here's his position one, last September, he cut $280 billion out of Medicare. Every Democrat voted for it. They cut $280 billion out of Medicare. And when he was in the Senate, he said, let me just read it to you. When I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare, Medicaid, veterans benefits. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. So I've been very clear. I will do nothing that would ever impact a Medicare or Social Security benefit. He's been clear. He just did it, right? He just did it last September, and he was in the Senate. He was clear that he wanted to do it and wasn't able to get it done. So there's a big difference between our two positions. Clearly, this is, is an important issue to you. You've we've got ads. You've taken out ads. We're running them on. <laughs> we'll see them on this show this morning. We have already seen them. Uh, and you're also having a roundtable discussion about it later on today in Sun City Center, right? Yeah. So, and think about it. Just, but, between the time when Biden was vice president to president, he made money. He used a loophole not to pay his Medicare taxes. I mean, this guy is a hypocrite. But yeah, I have a round table today in Sun City to talk about how do we preserve Social Security and Medicare. The way you do it, you start living within your means. Because right now, $31.5 trillion of debt, when we get to 45, at what point are we gonna say, you know, there's programs that are, you know, we don't really need, yeah. that we ought to get rid of. I did this as governor. You had to pick and choose the most important programs. So Security and Medicare are very important to me. One of, the, one of the big debates that coming up that we're going to have to be dealing with, and I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot about it in the next few weeks, is the debt ceiling. Yeah. Where are you going on that? Well, we've got to have a responsible way to raise the debt. Now, the resp most responsible way is balance the budget, so you don't ever have to do it. Uh, so we've got to figure out how do we get to a balanced budget. So the way the way you do it, there's there's a variety of structural changes. The first thing we're not we can't default on our debt. Right now, Biden has ability. He says he doesn't. He has the ability to prioritize payments and make sure he pays for interest, Medicare, Social Security, things like that. But I have a bill to do that. He ought to support that. We also have a bill that we're never going to shut down government again. We shouldn't be doing that. We have a bill that we should make sure if you're able-bodied. Get back to work if you don't have young kids or dependent adults. We got to get people back to work. That's what we did in Florida when I was governor. We grew our revenues in the state by cutting taxes, but getting people back to working and re recruiting companies. And as you know, when I left, we had record funding for the things people care about because we grew our economy. Those are things we ought to do and then say, you know, that was a great program maybe 20 years ago, but we don't need that program today. I mean, but just things like what we just did, uh, 87,000 new IRS agents. We don't need that. We ought to put that money if we're going to put that money into Medicare. I mean, we've got to preserve these programs. Hey, Senator, we got to go. Good to see you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming in this morning. Nice seeing and, you. Uh, We'll talk soon, okay? Bye-bye. Take care.